my plans going ahead. I just have to speed up the timetable. There's no way to be certain the antidote is viable without testing it on a human subject. Yes, that is the plan. I refuse to use Trino or Spencer as my test subjects. I would not risk cutting short a young, innocent life. Would you have the same qualms about using a more adult subject? One who's decidedly not innocent. Ah, perfect timing, son. You found me. I'm impressed. I thought I'd be untraceable. You should know by now, Victor, I'm more than a match for you. <laughs> uh, your self-confidence is so misplaced. Don't you want to know why I'm here? Well, I could think of two possible explanations. Either you launched an ill-advised rescue attempt, or it's just purely out of revenge. So tell me, which is it? Can it be both? Whatever the reasons, I'm afraid you've come all this way for nothing. I mean, look at you. You're in my custody, and my men will soon locate your accomplices. They'll be wasting their time when they came alone. I'd have expected you to be a much better liar. I fooled you into believing I was dead. Yes, well, I won't let you play me again. Come on, make it easy on yourself. Just tell me who are your accomplices, and how did you find me? Why would I answer you? You'll just accuse me of lying. No, lies come easily. The truth often has to be coerced. Diane, what? Fortunately, I don't require your cooperation. Your mere presence is enough. Do you have news about Willow? How is she? As far as I know, Willow is still alive. Oh, God's sake, Doug. Can the same be said for your hostages? No, my great nephews are fine, thank you. As is the stowaway, Trina Robinson. But none of you will survive what is to come unless you get on with the testing. What testing? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. You see, Lisa is testing the final step in my plan to save the world. And you're here to help.